Because Mathematica has much more extensive support for all kinds of numeric computation than most systems, it's important to understand the difference between different kinds of numbers. Let's start with exact numbers. Whenever you give exact input into Mathematica, it attempts to give you exact output. So since there's no decimal representation for 9 thirteenths that is exact, it can only return this as a fraction. Other kinds of exact input include things like constants. Here, for example, we're asking for sine of pi divided by 3. Many Mathematica functions know how to handle all kinds of exact input. Alternatively, we can work with approximate numbers. There's two ways to do this. One is to start with approximate input. Here, we're doing the same calculation as before, but because I provide a decimal input, the 18.0 and the 26.0, Mathematica knows that I don't care about exact integer outputs, and it gives me a decimal expansion. It's usually sufficient for a single part of the input to be approximate, and I don't indeed have to give the full decimal input. The mere presence of a decimal point is enough to indicate that the 18 is approximate, and now the whole calculation is done at an approximate level. The alternative approach is to do an exact computation and then convert it into an approximate form. So here, we're doing the exact computation that we did before, exactly as before, but the function n for numeric is wrapped around that output. So initially, it calculates the same root 3 over 2 as the answer, and then works out a numeric equivalent of root 3 over 2. On most computer hardware, these approximate calculations are performed to around 16 decimal places, although Mathematica typically only, dis only displays the first six decimal places. In many kinds of calculation, in order to achieve reliable results, we need to work with high more than 16 decimal places. And this is where high precision numbers come in. Again, there are two ways to work with high precision numbers. Firstly, we can control the amount of precision that we provide into the input. Here is the notation. Where before the decimal point was sufficient to indicate machine precision, we instead use this backtick and the number of decimal places that we're specifying. So this calculation says find 18 specified to 30 decimal places divided by 26 specified also to 30 decimal places. And it, this gives us a much more exact result. Furthermore, whenever you work in high precision numbers, Mathematica tracks the level of precision. So for any particular result, we can find out how much is guaranteed to be correct, given the input precision of that answer. And the information that it gives is that slightly more than 29 decimal places is guaranteed to be correct. Typically, if you mix different levels of precision, the result is calculations that fall to the lowest level of precision of the information provided. But this is not always true. Sometimes precision can rise, depending on the nature of the calculation. The other approach is to do exact arithmetic and then ask for high precision approximations. So here, just as we gave before, we do an exact calculation and we use the n function to find a numerical approximation, but we give a second argument for n, which is the number of decimal places that we seek. The n function will then work to whatever working precision is required in order to guarantee 50 decimal places of output. As well as these three basic number types, there are also various number extensions, the most common of which is complex numbers. We can enter a complex number into Mathematica by using the capital I symbol for the imaginary part. There is also a typeset version of I and a typeset version of J for the complex number, depending on your preference. Complex numbers can exist in exact form, giving again exact output wherever possible. They can be mixed with constants and handled by most functions. And they can also exist in approximate form. So here again, by specifying one part of the computation at least to have a decimal point in it, the calculation comes out approximate. And we can use the n function to specify the levels of approximation, or the backtick to specify the level of input precision. And the same principle works for other kinds of extensions such as algebraic numbers. It's important to realize 
that all of the functions in Mathematica can handle all of these different number types, wherever that makes sense. So there's no need to use different versions of different functions depending on whether you're working with complex, high precision or approximate numbers. And there's no need to tell Mathematica to evaluate things in different number systems. You simply provide the inputs using the number type and level of precision that you wish to specify and Mathematica will automatically switch to the appropriate algorithm and provide appropriate results. There are many numeric functions to explore in Mathematica, but they all follow these principles.